Okay, this is just a quickie to say, I just got back from the hospital after my clinic appointment this morning at 9.15. And the surgeon has removed 100 ml of fluid from the groin site and is, an, is assured me that everything's okay, I'm healing and all of this is to be expected. It's really, really common with groin surgery to get um, the fluid build up because the lymph nodes are not there to do the job. And so uh, I'll be going back every week, every week for, we're not sure how long. He said, some people it's a few weeks, some people it's months to till this fluid just set, settles down and my body finds its new way of working through the system. And he says, but mine doesn't look too bad compared to some, so um, it's, that's, you know, plan for it to take less than, less weeks than some people do, hopefully, to, to settle down. So I feel better having a hundred ml of fluid removed from that area because it, it's been sore for the last couple of days or so I've been feeling really sore and swollen and battered. So again, if you're having this type of surgery, um, might not happen to you you know I mean my drain fell out prematurely I think there was it was really not happy the drain was not happy and eventually I think my body just rejected it completely but that might not happen to you you know and so every case is individual and I'm here and I'm okay and I'm doing really well considering you know um as I always say you know it's what's not what happens to us it's how we respond to what happens to us and and what lens we're looking through i could look through a lens of woe is me and i want to be out running cycling roller skating i want to do all the things i love to do um or that i can realize that you know what i've just had a, a cancer removed from my body and and i'm healing really well and and i am still here and i'm still smiling and i have lots to be grateful for and you know i'm just going to keep keep on healing keep on relaxing keep my leg elevated it's very very important to wear the compression stocking all day and all night so i only take it off for a shower i do like that time where it's free to have a shower um but it's not that big a deal you know it's it is what it is and um so yeah you, you know the way i sort of my metaphor for it that i sort of came to is that it's like an ultra marathon and I've done a few ultra marathons now and you have your good bits where you feel really sort of inspired and I've got this and it's it's great and then you come to another hurdle like another hill to climb you get overtired you you know there's even tears at times you can feel really really ill like you just can't do this and then you come through it and then you you're there for the next moment and the next moment and it's really like with a with an ultramarathon i would say it's it's being that moment and be present and it's just one step at a time and it's the same with this and it's the same with anything that we're going through so if you're going through your own challenges it's like coming back to this moment and i wish you well and send you love and, and healing whoever you are and again if you've found me if you're worrying if you got you've got this surgery to come and you'd like some someone to talk to or some more information and um, uh, just reach out send me a message other than that um to all my friends and family out there who are listening i hope you've had a lovely christmas and enjoy the next few days before we enter a new and hopefully healthy and happy 2024 until then bye for now